Uh, we need to go talk real quick, uh, privately. Of course. Uh... I'm sorry. Mm, what is? Get off horse. I went looking for the wild man and I found him. He... I saw him get his last one, so I turned to run and he got me before I could. And he was talking like he heard voices. And he cut into me and I think something spooked him. He ran away and then I got free and I ran. I have only told Doc and you, I don't want it nice to be simple. a thing. Well, unfortunately, he's just made it a thing. <sighs> Sorry. Not your fault, people that are fucking stupid. He's been alone for some time. I know this is no excuse. I, j well, I don't. Let me fix that problem for him then. I'm sorry, I should have waited for you to go finding him. Where did you find him? <laughs> I went back where I first found him, near Little Creek. around in Big Valley. It was a mine shaft in Big Valley that he cornered me at, but there is also a little campsite that he definitely uh, lives at. Alright. Right under Big in Valley. Well, I won't go looking now, because I want to spend time with you, but I will be going looking for him. Again, I don't want this to be a thing. Uh, he said not no, to I tell anybody know. about him. That's why he let me go. But I know I can't lie to you or keep things from you. Well, you answer me this. If I do go looking for him, is this going to be another cliff situation? I don't know him. You do what you must. I tried to make friends that clearly did not go well. He's talked about how he, the voices tell him to hurt people and he has to silence them and I don't know if this is the first time that this has happened. Well, I'm gonna put an end to it before uh, more serious things either happen to you or someone 